Zero FXB Shack 2025 to show you a few of the gadgets I've got here. So obviously the one of the best ones I've got is the 7610 which I love. And uh, then we've got the 7100 Shack in the box. TS2000 Shack in the box. That's lovely that set. And we still have lots of network radios here. As you can see it's an update there. I'm going to go start download. Okay, uh, in the background, Anytone 878, TRD Radio H3 with the mod firmware. Uh, DV Genesis hotspot here. The new scanner, now this scanner is smart. If you just go watch this set, and then I try and do this one handed. Display mode set. You know, you go up and down with the two and the eight, and then and the five is actually an entry. Look at that. And when you've got a GPS lock, that populates lovely. So yeah, fantastic. DMR, D-Star Fusion, NXDN, all-in-one little receiver. Duplex hotspot, it's all pre-set up. Works great for DMR mainly, but it works on DMR, D-Star and Fusion, but not with the twin, you know, the twin talk groups. Now they have brought out the new Alens HA1UV, which looks just like this, but... This is the HA1G model, the GMRS model, but it can be mod. Well, I have modified it so it works on the handbands. DV Megacast there, that is brilliant. DMR D Star Fusion. It does have a microphone and a speaker, but it's like a hotspot. So it's basically like having this, but you have a, a microphone and speaker. And what else is like that? The M1K by Shark RF. You've got Hack RF here. One of my, that's a duplex hotspot seven inches in size so it's uh it's pretty hefty then you know underneath here we've got my mishtastic node underneath that we've actually got dv switch server there it's another thing to learn about lots of handhelds there icon 52 type handhelds fantastic receiver dsp2 and amazing receivers here aor dv1 uniden sds 200 100 and the uniden 160 with DMR that's a new one that's come out any power in that thing I do tend to keep them all charged because I use I do I know there's a lot of radios but I actually use them and then you've got a collection of drones and walkie-talkies uh, as you can see just here so I know it's a lot but you gotta remember this is a library of all my equipment so whenever I get given a you know a message um, there's the um, ID 52 ICOM, what's that one called? ICOM R30 receiver. And I, believe it or not, I use every one of these devices. Yeah, I dig them out. And um, when someone says, how did you use that? How do you use that? I, they get dug out and I, I do tutorials. So it is an amazing shack, probably the best shack in the world if you ask me. Um, but I really use it to help myself and to help hams. Look, you've got the install there. And I do my best to really learn about all the equipment I've got, to learn the inner functions. I do use that monitor up there, some more drone stuff there. So you're going to say, cool, it looks like a mess, but it's an organized mess. We've got the ICOM 7610 that we're making, sorry, 706 Mark 2G that we'll be making videos on today. And that came from Martin Lynch for £399. No, I don't get sent lots of free radios. I gradually, over the years, buy them. And you're talking 30 years. We've got a 3D printer here as well. More walkie-talkies. And I do solder. I've got my solder station just here, buried. It looks a bit more messier than usual. Fascinating. And I enjoy every minute of it. The best thing I ever did was have too many radios. Bye for now.